All right, guys, the daily vlogs are back. It's official. Every single day, we're locked in. Um, you know, I'm gonna do them in my car. I don't, I don't care if people think I'm like fucking doing Sam Sillick's thing. I don't, I don't have anywhere else to film, right? I get it. I'm not as jacked and wholesome. You know, he's just such a wholesome guy, dude. It's, you know what I'm saying? So like, I feel bad about doing the shit in the car, but I mean, I have no choice. You know what I'm saying? My roommates are always fucking loud as shit. Um, you know, I wanted to do it somewhere else, but everyone just so goddamn loud. It's my only option, you know? It's like, I so saw, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. We got the DJ show in New York City on Halloween coming up. I'm super fucking excited. I feel like we're getting, we're gonna be slept on. It's our debut together. Like we've DJed individually, but for together, it's like our first time playing. So I'm super excited. I think like, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think uh, I'm super excited. I'm also really nervous. I just hope the other DJs aren't like always only here because of like the horse meat shit, you know? Like I, I just want to be, I, I want to put on a good show for people, you know? Oh, anyway, um, these reta these uh, compressions, um, they're coming out. Uh, October 22nd, code horse meat, you know. Oh, fuck. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're really cool. They, like, fit well and stuff. I'm trying to think of other stuff that's ha been happening. Um, dude, we had a, uh, it was like a date party for my fraternity, right? And this guy, he took a, he took a date and, you know, they went on the date party, like, he bought the alcohol, right, they went home, and she went upstairs, she's like, I'm not feeling well, and went upstairs, and he was like, okay, I'll just wait in the living room, so she went upstairs, called another guy to come fuck her, he comes in, sees, you know, and he's like, oh, what's up, goes upstairs, fucks her, he waits in the living room the whole time, and then maybe after an hour and a half, he just left, um, so yeah, that was pretty fucked up, Yeah, man. I, I hope y'all are doing good, you know? I just got a lot on my mind, you know, with the with the show and stuff. I really just want to do the DJing thing. That's kind of like, you know, what I want to do. It's really fun, you know? It's, um, I like music a lot. Uh, we're getting better, you know? I, I'm a big fan of this girl. Her name's uh, Allie CVT, A-L-L-E-Y CVT. Um, and she's like a really awesome dubstep artist. And she also sings and I was like listening to her music and I was like I want to be that good uh, but I'm not you know I'm not yet at all I'm not even close so um you know I did you, you know it's like it's like ways to go kind of thing you know it's like you you start something new like yeah you're not gonna be that great but um you know I'm just gonna keep going you know I'm having so much fun doing it like I love it it's like awesome and stuff so yeah man it's it's been yeah it's awesome I would say my biggest um, inspiration in life is uh, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Um, he's just so awesome, dude. He's just so good at everything, you know? Like, he's an NBA player. He's, like, a billionaire, owns all this stuff. And he's also a DJ. He's, like, the biggest dubstep artist right now. He's fucking... Well, he's not the artist, but he's, like, a great DJ. Not Probably not the biggest, but... Dude, he's just so good at everything, you know? And I just, like be like that you know and it's like it's like yeah but that's also Shaq you know but I don't know man I think I think it's good to have goals you know I think it's good to like you know strive for something you know I've been kind of a degenerate like with school lately I just it's kind of stressing me out you know it's like ever since I got to school you know it's like I got here um, and I feel like summer was great, you know, I had some positive vibes, I was feeling the content and, you know, making videos and the YouTube. That was when the YouTube was doing, like, that was when I was doing it every day, and I got to school, and then I added, like, the school stuff on top of it, and I was just so tired and, like, sad. Because, like, I would miss class because I wanted to do videos, but the guilt of missing class would make me, like, not as, like, fun and passionate in the videos, so the videos were worse and school is worse, and then it's just this positive feedback loop of negativity. Um, I had to drop a class. I think I'm like a part-time student now, you know. Um, I missed a class today because my sleep schedule's all fucked up. 
I, uh, I've been staying out till like six in the morning watching horror movies because, you know, that's, it's just like, I like it, you know? And uh, I, I probably shouldn't do that, but you know, I think I can't sleep at night. I've been having a lot of nightmares, partly probably because of the horror movies. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been kind of crazy, so. Yeah, I don't know, man. And the other thing is like with the, when I got to school, like keeping up with the fitness with the school and the, like the videos and stuff, like I love the video. Like this shit is like what I like to do. Even if they get no views, I like to just like, you know, make videos and shit. Um, it's not about the numbers, it's just I like doing it. But then it like, with all of that stuff together, it just felt like, it just felt like a lot, you know? And then my fitness fell off. And then I like, so with the school being shitty and the content being shitty, I would look in the mirror and I look like shit too. And I'm just like, God damn, I'm fucking worthless. You know, it's like, I'm a worthless bitch, you know? <clears throat> um, but we're getting a handle on it now. So it's getting better. It's getting better. Um, the, the iron crew drop's coming up pretty soon. Got the skulls. A big thing was I used to never come from head. Um, and then my girl sucked me off one day. Cause like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't come, but I would still want to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? For like years, you know, I'd be like, could you like suck me off? Like I probably won't come. You'll probably just be sucking me off for a while. But like, I, you know, I still enjoy it. Um, and so the first time I came from head, I was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Um, and it was like, it was awesome. I see like, I, yeah. So I was in line at the bar and the girl behind me just like um, goes, oh, this guy in front of us is such a fucking weirdo. And I like, you know, I turn around. I was in the bar by myself. My friends were inside and she like looks at me and I look at her. I guess she thought I couldn't hear. And so I just turn back around and then she goes and look at his fucking outfit and his hair. And I honestly, bro, I was just sad, man, because like, you know. I dressed up nice, you know, I, I just bought these jeans, you know, I thought they were super dope, like, I would bought them the day before, and I was, like, really happy with my jeans that I was wearing out to the bar, um, because my friends were inside, so I was in line by myself, um, and, like, I had bought these awesome jeans, you know, and she fucking said my outfit was ass, so I was just like, damn, bruh, like, damn, and then so, like, she got in my head, you know what I'm saying, she got in my head rent-free, I didn't say anything, but I remember I was in the bar, on Pinterest, you know what I'm saying? Looking at guys with style because it, you know, she fucking, she got in my head, bro. She got in my head, man. I was sad, dude. I was sad. You know, I was growing out my hair. I thought it was like, thought it was cool. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, why is he standing in line by himself? You know, everyone was in their group and my friends are already inside, bro. It just, you know what I'm saying? You know, it just, it, just, it hurt, bro. It hurt. <laughs> anyway, that's it on today's video. We're bringing the vlogs back every day uh, so yeah feeling i'm feeling ready oh damn bro i just had the bojangles sandwich but i got the dirty rice waiting for me oh shit oh damn they didn't give me a fork fuck look at that she dirty rice is that shit is good man shit is good um yeah this is the the vlogs are back dude we're back we're ready we're fucking locked in yeah man all right i'm feeling i'm feeling motivated and ready you know what i'm saying all right boys i'm gonna catch y'all hope you're having a great day uh horse meat one and two on uh instagram and i got 100 tiktok accounts that start with horse meat so all right peace